Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I'm playing around again, uh, doing another experiment using fluid acrylics and spray paint. So a little mixed media for you. Um, I just recently uh, posted a video where I did some puddles in the middle uh, and used a spray paint in between each layer and then spun it out and it gave me a, a really cool kind of geode kind of look. But the, the amazing thing to me was the way that the spray paint broke up and became lacing. So I'm going to see if I can get a better composition this time and exert a little control over it and maybe even get kind of a flower type shape. We'll see what I can do. Um, let me walk you through my colors. Most of these are leftovers. Since this is an experiment, I think this is the perfect use of leftovers. I've got some table scrapings. This is kind of a turquoise green, dark turquoise green color, and I'll use it to show you my consistency. All of my paints have been mixed with uh, Floetrol, two parts US Floetrol, uh, gloss varnish, and um, PVA glue, and then thinned down with bottled water so that they leave zero trace. In fact, they leave a little bit of an indent when drizzled off of the stir stick. So this will be the color that I'm using as my base coat. And then the rest are all mixes of uh, blues and one kind of a, a dark purple color. So um, this is Amsterdam turquoise green, but it's a little metallic. So I'm assuming there are probably some, uh, this little piggy pigments in there also. This is indigo. And I believe there's some either permanent blue violet or dioxazine purple. I can't remember. It definitely has a purple tint or blue, uh, blue purple uh, color. Uh, this one is uh, Prussian blue from Amsterdam. This one, I have no idea what's in this, but it's a beautiful color, so I'm going to use it. And this is a metallic. I know that there's some folk art treasure gold. Um, um, which one is that? Blue quartz, I think, but I think there's a couple of other colors in there also. So all of these have been mixed to the same consistency, and I'm gonna put down my base coat. Uh, and instead of doing one puddle, I plan on doing four. So I'm going to uh, do one so that's kind of facing each corner. And instead of doing every other um, layer with this, I'm only going to put it in the darkest colors and in the white that I use. Oh, right. I have in my squeeze bottle, I still have some titanium white left over from the last one. So I'm going to use that as, as um, to help with some contrast in this composition. Um, at the end of this video, I will also do a quick dry result from the previous pour so you get a, an idea of what it looked like dry. So, all right, let me go ahead and get started. I'll put some music on for you while I put down my base coat and let's have fun. <laughs> to sit on the grass Among the flowers We just let the days pass by People would tell us To get a grip of ourselves And get a job We didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger We used to sit on the grass And go, damn, I don't wanna grow old I wish I could turn back time mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 When we got older, we tried to stay in touch
my friend away from us If I could go back, be 17 again Yeah, I would, just to see all my friends Running around the city, acting crazy like we used to do I wish I could turn back time Uh, ooh, ooh. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran grass and go damn I don't want to grow old stay up all night singing songs on the terrace we didn't mind sitting out in the cold it wasn't possible to make us embarrassed we were free do you remember stealing smokes from your parents sometimes we got a bit out of control
Okay, I can tell you right now, I like this composition way better than the last one. And I still got the really cool lacing effects that I was looking for. So let me take you in for some close-ups. I guess we'll start here in the middle. I was able to wreck that center just a little bit to, um, to add some interest. I thought about briefly about doing another puddle in the middle, just one. Uh, and maybe I'll do that next time. But I think this is really freaking cool. I love it. Look at this lacing. It is so amazing to me. Very, very cool. I can't wait to see how this one dries either. Look at that gold lacing there. Um, I love the, the this um, leftover colors uh, have blended together so beautifully since this paint is very, very thin. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Um, these paints are very, very thin, so there's going to be a lot of color blending as they move and as I puddle and everything. That area right there is gorgeous, too. Sorry about the, the glare, but I also want you to see the sparkle of that gold um, spray paint. I'm just amazed by that. Look at that lacing. So freaking cool. Yes, and I used less of the, the spray paint this time, so uh, it doesn't look like it took over. It looks like an accent that's intentional. I think I like that better. Um, I, I don't know if I can show you the edges. The edges are gonna be super cool. Maybe if I come over in the light better over here. Look at how that gold comes down. That is so cool. All right, let's move over to this corner over here. Oh, this is something I wanted to show you that I noticed as I, as I was spinning it out, as the layer of paint got thinner, this gold paint, the reason it's breaking up is because it dries instantly. And because it's dried, 
um, and the paints underneath it are fluid, it drug over top, the weight of that drug over the top, so it exposed some of the underlying colors. I think I like that, but I wouldn't want to do any more of it. But look at that lacing in there, so beautiful. I love that dark blue violet that I had left over. That section right there is just glorious. My God, look at those little tiny flakes as they've, they've broken off over here. And this one over here is gorgeous too. Look at all of that lacing. And I love the way it spirals almost in the center there. Yeah, and I wasn't able to quite keep the center in the center, but I did a pretty, pretty good job, I think, overall. And I'm happy with this composition. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Um, but hold on for just a second. I'll show you the dry results of this one and of the one from Sunday's video. And here we have the mostly dry results. I'm really, really happy with this. It's funny how the, um, the gold shifts when it hits the light. Isn't that amazing? I love how it's a great little accent all over this piece and I still love my little central spiral here in the middle. And this, I think I'm gonna call this webbing. It looks more like like a, like a spider web than lacing, I think. Especially like in this area right here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That definitely looks like a spider web to me. Fractured, like a fractured spider web. Very cool. And I noticed in a couple of areas how it has shifted so that it is over more than one color. Look at that right there. I sprayed that on the dark blue, I think, but it's uh, webbed over top of the turquoise and the white in that area. Same down over here. Look at that, see how it's um, covering more than one color? So yeah, that when it's moving, uh, because it's dry, it's moving at a different rate than the fluid uh, acrylic paints below it. So I think that's super cool. Can't wait to try another one. Um, I have more ideas, different consistencies, different compositions, different colors, and, uh, and that kind of thing. So I'll be doing a few more experiments with this. Oh, but hold on for just a second. I'll show you the uh, dry results from the last video too. Isn't she lovely? Both of those purples dried darker, the uh, the red violet and the blue violet uh, that was custom. And I used a lot more gold in this. Let me shift over so you can see it shine. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. And yeah, this webbing is just super cool all over the place. Look at that. That definitely looks like webbing to me cobwebs of gold all over this <laughs> canvas. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm glad with my second attempt, I was able to get uh, a composition that I like a little better, but this one has definitely grown on me. It looks like a geode. I think it's very cool. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed both of these videos. Um, I hope you're excited to see more experiments from me. I've got lots more ideas of things I wanna try with this. Um, but if you did, um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless.